Today you will watch a demo of AWS Clean Rooms, where you will learn how to create an AWS Clean Rooms collaboration, add members to the collaboration, and run queries to gain insights. AWS Clean Rooms allows you to gain insights from the collective data of two or more collaborators without requiring anyone to share the underlying data sets. Instead, each collaborator stores data in their own AWS account and references that data from AWS Clean Rooms along with rules about how the data can be used. Then, you analyze the data by running queries against the collective data. In this demonstration, we'll be performing an overlap analysis using data from an airline and a social media company to determine how many of the airline's customers are also using the social media platform. We'll begin in the AWS Clean Rooms console, where we're logged in as the airline. The first step is to create a collaboration, which you can think of as an instance of a clean room. We'll give it a name and description. Next, we'll specify the members of this collaboration. Be sure to include each member's AWS account ID. You can have up to five members per collaboration. Next, specify which member of the collaboration can perform queries. Only one member per collaboration can run queries, but you can set up multiple collaborations and associate the same configured tables to each. All members can associate data to the collaboration. By checking the query logging box, We'll allow members of the collaboration to receive query logs so that they can monitor how their data sets are being queried. Next, we'll turn on query log storage in Amazon CloudWatch logs. Finally, we'll review the settings and create the collaboration and membership. Next, let's switch to the social media company's account in the AWS Clean Rooms console. A notification has appeared, letting us know we have an invitation to join a collaboration. The details of this collaboration are displayed here, including which AWS accounts are involved, who can run queries, and whether query logging is supported. To accept the invitation, we'll create a membership. We'll opt to turn on query log storage. Now that we're a member of this collaboration, let's create a configured table. Configured tables map how queries can function against the underlying data. For demonstration purposes, we'll select a data set that's already stored in Amazon S3 and cataloged in the AWS Glue catalog. We can view the schema from AWS Glue and choose whether to allow all the columns to be used in AWS Clean Rooms or only a subset of them. In this case, we'll choose a subset to avoid divulging users' names. Next, we'll configure the analysis rule. AWS Clean Rooms supports multiple types of analysis rules. With the aggregation analysis rule, you can join data sets and calculate aggregate statistics, like count, sum, and average. With the list analysis rule, you can join data sets and select individual record level data. Because we want to know the percentage of overlap between two data sets, we'll use the aggregation analysis rule. Next, we'll specify the query controls to limit what SQL queries can be used in the analysis. First, we'll specify which aggregate functions apply to which columns. Since we want to be able to look at the total number of unique individual users, we'll look at the count and count distinct functions, and we'll use the ID column as the unique identifier. AWS Clean Rooms also supports functions like sum and average if you have quantitative columns that you want to calculate statistics on. Next, we'll specify the join controls. By default, tables can only be queried when joined to a table owned by the member who is querying. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll leave that option selected. Next, we'll specify the columns to be used in the join. In this case, we'll allow joins with the hashed email and hashed phone number columns. Next, we can specify optional dimension controls to allow the data to be filtered, grouped, or aggregated. In this case, we'll add the interest column to group overlapping users by their interests. 
Next, we'll specify which scalar functions may be applied to this table. AWS CleanRoom supports a range of scalar functions including math, data type, and string manipulation functions. Next, we can specify aggregation constraints to mitigate the risk that information about an individual or small groups of individuals will be returned in the results. For example, we can say that for the hashed email column, if a row has fewer than 100 unique email addresses, then that row will be filtered out. Finally, we'll review the analysis rule and apply it to the configured table. The configured table is now ready to be used in a collaboration. To do that, we'll associate it to the overlap analysis collaboration we are a member of. Multiple configured tables can be associated with a single collaboration and a single configured table can be associated with multiple collaborations. As part of the association process, we'll create a service role to allow AWS CleanRooms to read the underlying data in Amazon S3 and the metadata in the Amazon Glue Data Catalog. The configured table is now associated with the collaboration and the data is ready to be queried. Our social media company can use this console to monitor the query logs and see what queries have been run. Now let's return to the airline's point of view in the AWS CleanRooms console. We'll associate another configured table to the overlap analysis collaboration. We'll associate this existing CRM dataset of airline users and allow columns for email, phone number, and home state. As before, we'll create a service role and associate the table to the collaboration. Now that both accounts have associated configured tables to the collaboration, members can begin running queries. Continuing in the airline's point of view, let's start running queries. The first thing we'll do is specify the location in Amazon S3 where the query results will be saved. Results can be saved in CSV or Parquet format. We can view the tables in the collaboration, the columns that have been included, and the analysis rules that have been applied to each column. Let's start with a simple select star query from the users table. As expected, this query results in an error because AWS Clean Rooms restricts how data can be accessed. We must specify which columns we want to use. If we specify the hashed email column and prefix it, again we get an error because this column may only be used in joins. Let's try a count distinct query. This time the notification tells us that we need an inner join between the two tables. Let's add a join on the hashed email column and run the query. This time the query is running successfully, which means that it meets the analysis rules for both the airline's CRM table and social media company's user table. The query has completed. The results show that the two datasets have 50,000 email records in common. To put that number in context, let's run a second query to see the total number of distinct email addresses in our airline dataset. The total count of emails is 100,000, meaning half of the airline customers overlap with the social media users when we look at email addresses. Next, let's see what happens if we rerun the join query to look at the phone number column. Now, the overlap is only 20,000 records. Now, let's try a slightly more complex join to see the overlap of records when both the email and phone number match. This time, only about 10,000 records overlap. Let's change this AND to an OR to see the best case scenario. When the overlap includes either a matching email address or phone number, about 60,000 records match. Depending on the specific use case, you can decide which match rate is appropriate for your overlap analysis. Now let's look at the query logs. When a collaboration is configured to allow query logs, each member can see all the queries that they ran or that ran against their data. 
The logs show which queries ran and which didn't satisfy the analysis rules to monitor how the data is being used. You've just seen an introduction to AWS Cleanrooms. You learned how to create an AWS Cleanrooms collaboration, add members, and run queries to gain insights about overlap analyses. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.